headlines. Storms continue tonight. Flooding is possible in the mountains and across the eastern plains, and we'll have more rain this week on our seven day forecast. This is what it looks like right now in Fort Morgan. Dark skies out there with very strong thunderstorm activity and also flash flood warnings in effect for that area. We have wet roads here for the Front Range. It's been coming down uh, pretty heavy off and on at times as these showers have been moving through. Our highs today, though, much cooler than what we've experienced for the last week. We dropped into the 80s, even 70s up toward Fort Collins this afternoon. Still 90s for the southeastern and eastern portions of Colorado and 70s for the mountains. So that made a big difference today just in how comfortable it has felt outside. 90 degrees, our average afternoon high and 100, the record set back in 2003. This is what the radar looks like. It's been this active all day. We have watches and warnings in effect across the state. Flash flooding a possibility here for our northern and central mountains all the way down into southern Colorado. Flash flood watch for the eastern plains and extreme southern portions of the metro area in through tonight. These expire at midnight tonight and we also have a flash flood warning here toward Fort Morgan and one uh, uh, just north of Estes Park for the burn scar areas there. So we're keeping a close eye on these regions. Also now we have severe thunderstorm warnings toward Pueblo and Colorado Springs for the next 45 minutes or so for these storms pushing on through. As you can see, very heavy rainfall here along the I-25 corridor toward Colorado Springs and Pueblo, which is why we have those severe thunderstorm warnings. Rain moving here through the Front Range, still pretty soggy here for our area, but no uh, severe warnings in effect here for the Metro. Now, as we move, move northeast toward Fort Morgan, we have very heavy rain, a lot of lightning uh, with these storms pushing through, and we also have some light to moderate rainfall in the higher elevations. So most of this has come out of the mountain areas and pushed down across our region. So we'll continue to see the threat for afternoon and evening thunderstorms here for eastern Colorado. Uh, tonight in Denver, though, our temperatures will stay pretty consistent, mostly in the upper 60s and low 70s for the rest of tonight. Storms will be moving east. We'll have temperatures in the low 60s. So as you wake up tomorrow morning, low to mid 60s early on. We'll have 40s and 50s for the mountains. Our out the door forecast 60s and 70s through 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. And then we'll be in the mid 80s by 1 o'clock with a high of 90 degrees for the day with a few scattered thunderstorms. Our high country planner around 10,000 feet, keeping us in the 60s and 70s for the afternoon. And we'll have partly cloudy skies. As for our highs tomorrow, we'll be around 90 tomorrow during the day, right around average for this time of year. Same for southeastern Colorado and 70s toward Alamosa and Pagosa Springs, where we'll have better chances for rain tomorrow afternoon down into southern Colorado. But we also have our own chances for rain tomorrow with those highs in the 90s for our area. We've already had a cold front go through. It'll be a pretty scattered thunderstorm activity that we'll experience here at the next couple of afternoons. We stick with this chance for rain each afternoon on our seven day forecast. We'll be right around 90 tomorrow, upper 80s Tuesday, and then right around 80 degrees on Thursday as we really cool things down. And then we'll be in the 80s through the end of the week and the beginning of the weekend.